A bag contains four red balls and five green balls. Two balls are taken out. If one ball is taken out and put back, and then another ball is taken out, this is called with replacement. If one ball is taken out and not put back, and then another ball is taken out, this is called without replacement. What's the probability that two red balls are taken out? Let's take a look at how to solve this problem under with and without replacement. If it's with replacement, or the ball is put back, then for the first ball, the probability of red is 4 over 9, because there are 4 red balls. And the probability that the second ball is red is also 4 over 9, because the first ball is put back. Therefore, the answer is 4 over 9 times 4 over 9, which is 16 over 81. If it's without replacement, then for the first ball, the probability of red is also 4 over 9. If a red ball is taken out and not put back, then there are 8 balls left in the bag, and 3 of them are red. So the probability that the second ball is red becomes 3 over 8. Therefore, the answer is 4 over 9 times 3 over 8. This is 1 over 6. If not mentioned, it is without replacement. Let's look at the problem again. A bag contains four red balls and five green balls. Two balls are taken out. What's the probability that two red balls are taken out? For the first ball, the probability of red is 4 over 9. For the second ball, the probability of red is 3 over 8. So the answer is the product of these two, which is 1 over 6. We can also use combination to solve this problem. There are four red balls. If we take out two, that is 4C2. Total ways of taking two balls out of nine balls is 9C2. So the answer is 4C2 over 9C2. It's also 1 over 6. So for object picking probability, we can either multiply the probability of each ball, or use combination. What's the probability that one red ball and one green ball are taken out? If we use the probability approach, for the first ball, the probability of red is 4 over 9. After a red ball is taken out, there are 8 balls left in the bag and 5 of them are green. So the probability that the second ball is green is 5 over 8. Multiply these two, the answer is 5 over 18. If we use combination, then total ways is still 9C2. Select one red ball out of 4, and one green ball out of 5, is 4C1 times 5C1. The answer is 5 over 9. It is not equal to 5 over 18. What is wrong here? Let's look back at the probability approach. The question asks for one red ball and one green ball. It doesn't mention the order. So it could be two cases, first one is red, second one is green. Or, first one is green, second one is red. We missed the second case. The probability that the first ball is green is 5 over 9. After a green ball is taken out, there are 8 balls in the bag and 4 of them are red. So the probability that the second ball is red is 4 over 8. Multiply these two, it's 5 over 18. Therefore, the answer should be 5 over 18 plus 5 over 18. This is also 5 over 9. Now, it matches the result of the combination approach. From this example, we can see that if we use the probability approach, we need to consider the order of the balls taken out, and do a full permutation of them all. This increases complexity and can be error prone. Therefore, the combination approach is recommended. Now let's look at how complicated it can get if we use the probability approach to calculate object picking probability. A bag contains three red balls, four green balls and five yellow balls. Three balls are taken out. What's the probability that one ball of each color is taken out? Three balls of different colors are taken out. So there are six different permutations. If it's red green yellow, then the probability is 3 over 12 times 4 over 11 times 5 over 10. If it's red yellow green, then the probability is 3 over 12 times 5 over 11 times 4 over 10. So on and so forth. 
we have to consider a full permutation of these three balls. Notice that denominators are all 12 times 11 times 10, and numerators are all 3 times 4 times 5. Therefore, the answer is 5 over 12 times 4 over 11 times 3 over 10 times 3 factorial. The answer is 3 over 11. However, if we use the combination approach, it becomes a lot easier. Total number of ways is 12c3. If one ball of each color is selected, it is 3c1 times 4c1 times 5c1. The answer is also 3 over 11. So again, combination is recommended. A bag contains 3 red balls, 4 green balls and 5 yellow balls. 3 balls are taken out. What's the probability that exactly 2 balls are green? 2 green is 4c2. The left one can be any of the remaining 8 red and yellow balls. Therefore, the answer is 4c2 times 8c1 over 12c3, which is 12 over 55. What's the probability that at least one ball is yellow? At least one is 1 minus none. No yellow is 7c3. Because all three balls are selected from three red balls and four green balls. So the answer is 1 minus 7c3 over 12c3, which is 37 over 44. Again, we see how easy it is to solve object picking probability problems with combination. In this class, we learned how to calculate object picking probability. Remember to use combination instead of multiplication of probability.